About six weeks ago, Hyundai revealed the stunning Envision 74 to the world in Busan, Korea. I was there at the time taking a static look at the Envision 74, but today we're gonna drive it here at the Bilsterberg track in Germany. This is a fascinating car. It's a hydrogen battery electric hybrid, one of the first of its kind. Hyundai has used similar technology before in trucks. There's also Rimac tech in this car. There's a T-bone battery. There's heaps of next generation systems all focused on how can Funder Drive translate to the electrified era? We're gonna jump behind the wheel and see what it's really like to drive. All right, first time behind the wheel of the Envision 74. Incredibly important prototype for Hyundai. Thinking about how you can blend hydrogen and battery electric in a future high performance vehicle. So how does it actually come together in reality? Well, surprisingly well. It feels like a battery electric vehicle to drive, albeit one that's had a lot more attention to handling and chassis balance and chassis communication than normal. However, when you actually look into the diagnostics and the, tele <laughs> the telematics that the, uh, the vehicle is giving you, you realize that your initial acceleration and especially your low speed acceleration is coming off power from the fuel cell alone which makes about 85 kilowatts of power by itself and it's really the bigger stuff the uh the big uh, acceleration where you're engaging the dual motors being fed by the battery and it's really that hybrid sensation that makes this different to just a standard battery and electric vehicle but at peak output on the throttle you're making 500 kilowatts of power 900 newton meters of torque and it certainly feels that way although it does tail off a little after about 150 kilometers per hour but it's the feedback from the chassis that's so different particularly in the vehicle's track mode where the torque vectoring is more aggressive at the rear axle allowing you to put quite a bit of load into the car you can slide this thing easily in either mode however just stepped out of the Envision 74 here at Bilsterberg. As it often is, it's so short and sweet, the experience of driving here. What I can tell you about the Envision 74 is that the hybrid system is interesting. As a driver, it doesn't really play all that much of a part in your performance driving, apart from getting you to that peak 500 kilowatts of power, which you can only do if you've got some hydrogen fuel in the car. If you've only got it charged on battery, you're not gonna be able to get 500 kilowatts out of it. You'd get more like, 400, which is still plenty, but you're meant to have both of the fuels in the car to achieve peak performance. But really lovely steering, heavy steering, good response from the front end, and loads of feedback from the dual motor setup from Rimac at the rear end, really letting you get some attitude on the car. But the chassis itself is really balanced, quite playful, great to drive. So whether or not this vehicle goes into production or just informs the next generation, of electrified end product after what comes next year. There's a lot to be excited about. So what's happening behind me is a couple of things. The Envision 74 is being refueled. You can see the hydrogen tanks behind it. It's got about a four kilo capacity for carrying hydrogen in the car, which is important for getting you to peak power, but it can also recharge the battery without having to plug the car in at like an EV charger, which makes your life a lot more convenient. Uh, what's also happening is a pair of leaf blowers are cooling down the brakes, which is kind of funny. But this track is quick, it's curvy, it's got big braking zones. So these prototypes, they need to get cooled down in between kind of uh, episodes of abuse, which we've been giving the car today. Here at the back of the Envision 74, we have a bunch of design references to the Pony Coupe concept from 1974. But what they have done is incorporated parametric pixel lighting, which is a signature of Hyundai's electrified vehicles already seen on Ionic cars like the Ionic 5 and upcoming Ionic 6. Now there's some pretty serious aero happening here at the back of the Envision 74 little red touch there and a sort of Formula One style third brake light that we've seen on some Hyundai N products in the past. Now, coming down the side profile of this pretty phenomenal looking vehicle, this is where you've got your hydrogen refueling door, at least on the show car version of the Envision 74. On the other side is the 
uh, battery recharging port. Now you can actually simply recharge this vehicle on electricity using conventional recharging infrastructure. It's an 800 volt vehicle with rapid charging times. However, you get peak power out of this vehicle and the longest range if you also refuel it on hydrogen. And the company is confident that in future, hydrogen is going to be a key part of the zero tailpipe emission mix. This car is all about looking at, can you make a hybrid supercar really combining hydrogen and battery electric? Now, moving down the side profile of the car, you can see these pretty crazy sort of progressive futurism wheel covers here, really lovely matte paint application, slim mirrors, and this big duct here at the side is giving you a hint about the thermal management principles in this car. There's a lot of cooling work to be done on the vehicle. We've got the battery, we've got twin rear electric motors that make about 250 kilowatts a piece, peak power of about 500 kilowatts for the vehicle. That's all got to be cooled. The hydrogen fuel cell stack has significant cooling demands as well, and this car is equipped for all of it. Heading down to the front of the design of the Envision 74 here, and it is a truly striking vehicle. More parametric pixels at the front end in this sort of yellowy amber glow. Really cool, distinctive signature there. One thing that you don't immediately get the impression of when you see the car in photos though, is the scale of the vehicle. It's over 4.9 meters in length. It's wide, giving it a great stance, but it's also low. And this is a real packaging success story. It actually doesn't quite have to be this big. The length of the vehicle is really there to make it look cooler and that has worked. And as we saw before, it's quite a striking vehicle to drive as well. So those are my thoughts on the Hyundai Envision 74 Rolling Lab after having driven it here at Bilsterberg. This is a brand that isn't banking purely on battery electric applications. They are doing that, and we've also driven the RN22e battery electric NCAR today here at Bilsterberg, but it's not only about battery electric. The Envision 74 combines that tech with hydrogen fuel cell technology that Hyundai has worked on for a long time to give a different option, a range extending option, a quicker refueling option. And I think it's fascinating to see them look at different solutions to ultimately the same problem. Keen to know your thoughts though down in the comments. Hit us up down there, let me know your thoughts. While you're there, hit subscribe and the notification bell. And as always, thank you for watching Chasing Cars.